so good to have you too. And Pleasure, I, dude. Let me tell you something. Uh, I'm probably, this is the best show I've ever put together. There are weeks that I do this show, and I can't get one celebrity on here. And uh, tonight we're blessed with Bruce Willis, Christy McNichol, and of course, Vanna White is joining us by satellite. Uh, Hi, Vanna. Hi, how are you? All right, Vanna, we were talking about a bunch of different things with everybody, and I know we only have limited time with you. So uh, let me just, let me ask you a couple of questions first off. Your favorite vowel? E. E, all right. Mm -hmm. Yay, is that the right answer? Do you know Bruce or Christy? Have you ever met Bruce Willis? Um, I have met Bruce Willis. I've met both of them, actually, yes. Yeah, Christy, you yeah know? I yeah. remember, yeah. yeah you remember? Guys, long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Long time ago. Now, I believe that the, there's a couple of things I believe that I want to say to you, Vanna. Number one, I know you're, um, you have a Vanna White doll. I do. You want to see it? Yeah, let me take a look at that. What do you think, Howard? Be honest. I think she's cute. I think oh, she's good. very. I think she's very cute. Bruce, why have you never uh, put out uh, any product, a Bruce Willis t-shirt or well, anything? Well, you know, we're thinking of doing something with the Die Hard stuff, actually. Die Hard products? Yeah, the Die Hard kind of products, yeah. We're going to have like a little, uh, you know, Die Hard doll. I understand. Um, don't you think the Pat Sajak show would have been successful, Vanna, had you been asked to be a part of it? I don't know. I believe it would have been. I think people wanted to see you, I and not to see oh, Pat. Absolutely. I may oh, say yeah, that. Pat Sajak. Chrissy, did you ever watch the Pat Sajak show? Absolutely. I think I was on it. Yeah, you were on yeah. it. Yeah. I saw you on it. Yeah, I was on it. Did, and did you miss Vanna on the show? I did. I think they have a great chemistry. I think she would have been great on that show. Had you been a regular, I believe it would have succeeded, Vanna. Yeah. Uh, well, that's very yeah. sweet of you to say. And Pat wouldn't ask you to be on it, or was, it, was there a bone of contention or uh, anything we, like that? You know, we spend so much time together on Wheel of Fortune, we needed a break from each other. Yeah, absolutely. I don't believe yeah. that for a minute, though, Vanna. <laughs> putting a good spin on it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> now, will there be a Venus Goddess of Love Part 2? No. There will not. Well, no. I enjoyed part one. Uh, so you're not going to do any more acting? I just thought there you were more what? questions. You know, I thought there were a lot of questions that weren't answered in Venus part one. I'll well, be honest. Well, maybe with you. so, yeah. 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 Now, will, uh, will you be doing more acting in the future? Yeah, I just did an episode on L.A. Law. Let me ask oh, you this. Mm. Wouldn't you have been more comfortable doing this interview in lingerie? Ah. ah. Yes. No way. I think you're beautiful in lingerie. I must be honest with you. <laughs> What about well, the doll? Does the doll come with any lingerie or? Uh... No, no, only exercise clothes and dressy dresses. Bruce, wouldn't you have rather seen um, Vanna White in lingerie? Tonight? I would have rather seen. Yeah, absolutely. She's got a good body for that. Let me ask some serious questions to Bruce Willis too, and I'll open this up to you, Vanna. Okay. Bruce, yeah. Bruce, your trouble with the Inquirer. Why? Why do they continually no, hound you? It's a rag. It's a rag. It's a bad. Uh, it's awful. It's awful. I mean, they always keep writing these stories about me, you know? Right. I mean, they write great things about Christie. Does anybody really believe what's in those magazines? Does anybody really believe? I don't I believe hope it. Not. I mean, he's you had like problems the with the Inquirer as well, have you not, Vanna? Yes, yes. And what they, they said some pretty mean things to me lately. Will you sue them? No. One of them I read where uh, James Brown was tantalized by you because you would sunbathe nude at the Playboy Mansion. Were you? Were oh. You, were you out of your mind over this? I, I missed that one. You did miss it. I read yeah. that one. I you read that one, huh? Did you read that, Bruce? Yeah, I, you know. It's you like, read the Inquirer. I read the Sure, you got to keep up with these things. You so. do read it. Yeah, of course. But why you don't, do you read it? Why do you read it if they write so many bad things about it? Because I'm just trying to line up all these things so I can finally sue the bastards. Uh, oh. Well, I don't read the articles about me, but I do read the articles about Bruce. And I know they say that you and uh, Demi yeah, are losing my having... hair. Are you, are you breaking up with Demi Moore? Answer the question. No. You are not? No. So that's a lie. So why don't you sue them over that? Because right now, it's just it's nothing concrete. I mean, they can say anything they want. I talk to my lawyers and say I can't do anything. Vanna, what about you? You've never talked to your lawyers about, I mean, James Brown. I mean, you you never even met James Brown. Is that correct? No, um, I, I think I have met him before. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I don't know about this other thing you're talking about. Right, I see. Well, I, if I were you, I'd all get a good attorney and sue. Yeah. yeah. He's very rich. We ought to get together and do it It's going to be together. somebody else. All, yeah, I know. But you think the Vanna White doll will make you the millions? Do you think it will make you the know. big money? I, I think don't it know. I mean, I'm just happy happy about it. A lot of people have been uh, wanting it over the years, and I finally have one. Do me a favor. Don't show that doll to James Brown. According to the Inquirer, he'll get all heated up. <laughs> he sees it sunbathing news. <laughs> okay. Unbelievable. Now, um, I don't understand it, Christy. You two have had your trouble with the Inquirer. Lots of trouble. That's right. And Lots you have, will not sue. They have accused you of lesbianism. They have accused you of all these different things. You have never, you have never sued. I I hope it will go away if I ignore it. I don't understand you celebrities. I do not. That's why I'm not a celebrity. 
I don't want to be accused of lesbianism, Vanna. I'll be honest with you. I do not want to be accused of lesbianism because my wife will kill me. I'm not kidding. And then she'll divorce me and she'll get all of my money. Uh, it's unbelievable to me. Now, Vanna, what are the yeah. plans for the future? You got the doll. I have Bruce, the doll. Bruce, we heard your plans. Christy, yeah. we heard your plans. And we're desperately running out of time here. And I want to find out Vanna's plan. What's Vanna, my plan? You, will, you will not sue the Inquirer. No, not you, this week anyway. You will not sue Hefner for Playboy pictures, I hope. No, no. You don't hold that against him? Well, I might hold it against him. Right. But it's over with. And it's, it's in your the past. past. No more. Because you have a clean-cut image. You don't need that garbage, right? Well, I will admit I did take some lingerie shots years, years ago, and they came back to haunt me. And I knew it was a mistake in the beginning. Right. But I did it anyway, and, and something I did that I regret. But you learn from your mistakes. And the doll is something... Now, who puts out the doll? What company? Home Shopping Club. You oh. can only get it on Home Shopping Club. Right, Vanna? Right. That's right. <laughs> and now, will there be different outfits? Because, you know, you always have those wonderful clothes. Yes, she does have on different outfits. And also, you can buy these outfits in a grown-up size to match. Mm. I don't want the grown-up size. I like them extra skimpy and small. <laughs> but the, now, what about you and Pat Sajak? Nothing romantic between you two. He is now married. He's now married and the proud father of a baby boy. His wife is very beautiful, by the way, may I say that? She I swear is. to God. Very Only beautiful. in America can I got... Because he's not a handsome man. He's not a classically <laughs> handsome man. He's adorable. Well, he's please. Sweet. I, it's because he's, he's on a cute. TV show, I, I believe. I believe because he's on a TV show. But he gets a star anyway. Yeah, you are the star, Vanna. I'm going to be serious about that. Uh, I'll tell you something. The reason that I, I'm going to tell you, as a man now, as a man with, with a, a very high libido, I will say the reason that I still tune in, I enjoy the game and I enjoy the contestants and all that interplay. But what I enjoy most about it is to see your different outfits, see your beautiful legs, may I say your beautiful chest, if I may you say that. You can say anything you want to, Howard. I'm telling you, know, Bruce, I know you don't like when I talk about a woman's chest. Uh, well, I, you know, I, I, I'm but a little is, uncomfortable with it. You're a little uncomfortable with that. Well, may I say your wife has a beautiful chest as well. Well, well there's some stories about that, too. You are uncomfortable as well. well that, and I'm uncomfortable. Of course. Well, Christy, why are you uncomfortable? There's been so much written about you. you think, but your chest is not that beautiful, Christy. Not as beautiful as that. <laughs> well, maybe that's why. Well, that's well, that's well, not that's not so nice. Well, if I may say that. If I, I don't mean to insult you, but Vanna is probably one of the most beautiful women in the world. Well, I think she's beautiful, too, but you don't have to insult me. I didn't mean to insult you, Christy, but I am going to say that your chest... Would you ever consider chest implants, Christy? Who is my agent? You know what? What's my you know what, to do this show? What, Vanna? If you don't have anything nice to say about someone's chest, don't say anything at all. Well, let Thank me say you. something nice about your chest. Thank I'm going to you. tell you something. Let me ask you something. Are any of those stories about lesbianism true? And do you find Absolutely Vanna attractive? Absolutely not. I find Vanna attractive, but I am not a lesbian. You do not find Vanna attractive. I think she's attractive. Oh, you do find her attractive. So you do admit that. <laughs> Vanna, she admits that you are attractive. Bruce, what about you? Would you ever consider dating Vanna? I'm married. He's a married yeah. man. You were married. Enough trouble you as it is. I mean, they're printing crap in the environment. Vanna, what about you? Who are you dating now? Which I'm guy? dating a guy named George. He owns restaurants in Los Angeles. Only rich guys, or would you ever date, uh, let's say, a, uh, a sort of a middle-income uh, host of a beat-up television show? <laughs> uh, Absolutely. A former host like this one. Oh, please. Listen, Christy, I've had just about enough of you. You're a big, loud mouth, and I wish you'd leave the set. I'm talking about it. And I'll tell you something, Christy. You're jealous of Vanna because she has beautiful chests. And that's what I'm going to say about Vanna White. Vanna White is selling a doll, and I would buy it. I would buy this doll. I would give it to my I children. I play with dolls. I, w I certainly do. I would give it to my children because you are an excellent role model. Thank you. That thank guy George you. is a very lucky man. Will you marry George? If he asks me. He will. Well, on our he show tonight is George. George, will you ask? You didn't know that he was here. George, 